All the people I made governors and senators repay me back with ingratitude. Chris Uba, welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. To get notified when we post hot juicy news updates, please click on the notification bell. Venga reports that a prominent godfather in Anambra politics, Chris Obar, has boasted that since the inception of the present democratic era, which began in 1999, he has made many governors, senators, House of Assembly members. He went on to state that every person elected to high position did not only abandon him, but they repaid him with ingratitude. Chief Obar, who is popularly known as Eselu Nenuego, Floating on top of money, said this in Nanka, Orum, but not local government area of Anambra State. When he attended the 2022 edition of Honorable Okudili, is a one core empowerment program. His statement read, I have made so many highly placed politicians in Anambra State since the year 1999. I have made governors, senators and other powerful politicians at different levels. I, myself, Single-handedly made Mbadinoju a governor. I made Chris Ngege a governor. I hand in hand in making. I had a hand in making of P2B, Obiano, and Saludos governors of Anambra State. I have also made lots of senators and members of the House of Representatives. But even after all these, none of them expressed gratitude to me. That is why I have decided to pick a ticket and go to represent Anambra South in the Senate. I have no business going there to acquire wealth. I already have in my possession free oil words and a business magul. If Anambra State honored those who did well for the state, no one could would be contesting this position with me because I sap the state well. Uba is currently contesting South Senatorial seat, which is occupied by Ifan Uba. <laughs> We believe you, Mio. I know very little about Chris Uba. In fact, I don't go lie. I don't know anything about Chris Uba. I think this is this is what we should be looked looked into. Now the question will be: How did you make? How did you have a hand in making? And your name is not, you know, popular. Or maybe is it because it is? It is, is it only popular in Anambra State or the southeastern region? Because I know Jagaban is popular in the southwestern region. Hmm? Uh -huh. If you're talking about Tinubu making people now, you see a lot of people coming out. Oh, Tinubu made this one, I made this one, you know. But how did he make these people? Like how? Because I want to understand where he's coming from. So that I can, you know, tackle the ingratitude he's talking about. Okay. Oga. Okay. Oga, go and contest so that you will fail nicely. For people to be... You have a hand in him being governor. He came to PDP and you like chased him away because he refused to buy expensive wine. I refused the condition you and your ally gave him, so he moved to Abga. See, you're among the people Nigerian youth want to take Nigeria back from and retire them politically. He said, what is your work? What business are you into? We do not want we do not want to hear your name or your family's name again in that Umbra political space again. Or more. Now, Nambarians, they talk so. Hey, make an affiliate in Nambarians. How far now? Man, I give us full story. Who is Chris Uba in Nambar State? Eh? He said he made a lot of people governors. He made some people senators and House of Assembly members. So I beg, tell us who this man is and how does he make them? Let me know if he will make me too. <laughs> okay, but Peter Obi later came back to the said PDP after his tenure as governor. Peter will be with this who bar the same thing. They're all failure. Will be too disappointed people in Anambra State. Will be lied to the whole Nigeria that he's growing Anambra rice and the rice farm belong to Cosmos Marukwa, the owner of Kuscharis Moto. Okay. Chris Uba and his senior brother Andy Uba came to political commentaries immediately Uba Sanjo left office. The atrocities, the, the atrocities they committed in Anambra can never be forgotten. Anambra State is not a good state where man dictates for everybody in the name of Godfather. We share. Anambrians are coming to fight back. Oh, not one man has come out to say that this man, upon, as in among what I've been seeing here, oh, none of them have said, ah, the truth, true, true. this man talk not true. I be not lie. Hmm. Now, wow. You made people governors and senators when they were no election but writing of results. 
People like you, Christopher and Asari Dukubo, should be in prison serving for life for introducing kidnapping in Nigeria. Well, this is Nigeria that the government only know how to play ostrich. Hmm. Okay. Another Emil Locon in Anambra. This is what you see in a dysfunctional society. Entitlement, entitlement, entitlement. When without this nonsense stop, you'd be like, say this man don't, I didn't even say this man, no, you don't even come as a control person because I have not seen one person standing beside him saying to true, at least him as this man try. It is people who are coming out and they're saying he did not try. Okay. That should have taught you a lesson that you're dealing with people who are more knowledgeable and intelligent than you are. In your next word, you should rise above chin, cheek, and me. Okay. What a small God you are. May God forgive you all you have done to an ambrastic. Ah ah. Chris Uba. Hey. And so they continue to repay you and all things with the same evil you guys plans for us. Calamity will come your way. Eh? Hey. Who should fill me in? Why are people giving me half story now? Fan, I mean I give us a better story on this issue now. Eh? Yeah? I think ingratitude begins with this man, Chris Uba. I will end with him. Imagine Agbo boasting that he made people governors and senators. I'm happy he did not succeed in that of P2B. Rather, it was P2B that retired you and your likes and godfathers permanently in Anambra State. The same way, God willing, he retired godfathers in Nigerian politics come 2023. You know, I was here saying, okay, I was even asking this question. How did this man make, uh, you know, the way he's coming out to say he made this one, he made that one. I was almost going to ask, are we no longer practicing a democracy? I mean, when you said you made this one, you make that one. How? How does it mean? I was going to ask this question. If I see him, it will be among the questions I'm going to be asking him. How do you mean you make this one and you make that one? How exactly do you mean? So that he can tell us what he means exactly. But from what we have here, people are not happy. This man, people don't get as in, I just, if he is, Going to be reading this particular article, we should know that people are not happy about. About, in fact, it is. It would have been better if he would have not come out to say anything because he's coming out to say something just to make the whole issue worse. A lot of people are like you, this man. This man will be saying, you know, they are they are, they are saying things about him and inside almost everything being said about him. I've not seen one person saying he's a nice guy. Hmm? They are they are coming out to say it has been calamity, calamity, and calamity okay well nigerians come 2023 whether you're going to be voting for general elections state elections councillorship uh, governorship make sure that you pick the right candidate make sure you pick a candidate that is going to make nigeria your state local government better all right and this note we have come to the end of the news we say thank you for turning in to listen until i come your way next time enjoy